Welcome to our video on the hierarchy of control. The hierarchy of control is a method for identifying and implementing the most effective ways to control hazards in the workplace. The hierarchy of control consists of five levels, starting with the most effective methods at the top and progressing to the least effective methods at the bottom. The first level is elimination. Elimination is the process of removing the hazard from the workplace. It is the most effective way to control a risk because the hazard is no longer present. It is the preferred way to control a hazard and should be used whenever possible. Examples of elimination control methods is purchasing equipment that is not noisy. The second level is substitution. This involves replacing a hazardous substance or process with a less hazardous one. Substitution is also an effective way to control hazards as it reduces the risk of harm. Examples of substitution controls include 1. Replacing solvent-based paints with a water-based alternative. 2. Replacing benzene with toluene, cyclohexane, ketones. The third level is engineering controls. This involves designing the workplace or equipment to make it safer, such as installing guards on machinery. Engineering controls are effective in reducing the risk of harm, but they may not completely eliminate the hazard. Example include 1. Using guards around moving parts of machinery. 2. Using local exhaust or general dilution ventilation to remove or reduce airborne products. The fourth level is administrative controls. This involves implementing procedures and policies to control hazards, such as providing safety training and conducting regular safety inspections. Administrative controls can be effective in reducing the risk of harm, but they may not completely eliminate the hazard. Example includes providing training to employees. The final level is personal protective equipment. This involves providing workers with gear to protect them from hazards, such as hard hats, goggles, and earplugs. Personal protective equipment can be effective in reducing the risk of harm, but it should always be used in conjunction with other control methods. Example include wear gloves and safety eyewear when using the machine. The hierarchy of control is an important tool for identifying and implementing the most effective ways to control hazards in the workplace. By starting at the top of the hierarchy and working your way down, you can ensure that the most effective control methods are being used to protect workers from harm. Remember, Always start at the top and work your way down to ensure the safety of your workers. Thanks for watching. Stay safe at work.